Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 12 of the 5th season of My Hero Academia today and this is actually going to be episode 100 and it's pretty impressive to see that um, it's been already 100 episodes since uh, this anime started um, and of course I'm hoping for um, 100 more so really hope that they keep uh, adapting um, this story and uh, making uh, um, all of these uh, seasons um, and yeah, it was definitely really awesome to watch um, this uh, competition during these uh, first uh, episodes of this season. Um, and now it's um, apparently over, so it was definitely um, really good for all of them and they all learned so much uh, with this. Um, and I spe especially loved how uh, there was this uh, beautiful teamwork between all of them and like watching uh, um, all of these um, moves that they did together. Um, it was something that um, I valued a lot during this uh, arc. So um, now I wonder what's going to be happening um, afterwards. So I'm expecting um, the League of Villains to be um, like shown a bit more during these uh, next episodes. Um, and yeah, really can't wait to see what's going to happen during this uh, episode. So, with this, hope you guys are ready and let's start it. It managed to win. Last one, eh? Even though I want to say it doesn't really matter because they are all winners. They all gained a lot from this, even the ones who lost. And Shinso, he passed that secret exam. I really love this. So not sure, but I'm expecting there to be a new opening at some point, since we are like in the middle of this season, so maybe during the next one or episode 14, we usually do that, so it should be the same year. Yeah, this first, this first half was like um, pretty chill, just watching them showing their moves and practicing and le learning about what they need to improve on. It's really enjoyable. And I was not expecting Class 1A to actually win, so I thought they were going with um, a draw because in the end they all did really well, so I felt like there shouldn't be a clear winner. Hmm. He was really amazing. Hmm. This is really good for Shinso. Was talking about not being interested in having friends. But it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, it is. 
Feeling your opa. <laughs> you didn't forget that. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, that's something that intrigued me. It was probably going to be really dangerous for him. But yeah, he said that, the blank. It's like there was... Nothing, or like he wasn't able to copy it. So maybe he was in no danger after all. Oh, Ari! Oh my god, they're finally showing her! Hmm. So adorable, and I love how she keeps smiling. It was such an emotional moment before, when she smiled for the first time. Practicing! I also wonder which uh, class Shinso is going to join. Trying to work on that. That is really big. Yeah, I mean... This is completely new. <laughs> Probably already used to it from Bakugo. Hmm. It's a possibility. Yes, a point there. That's a really good point. <laughs> this Bakugo. <laughs> Hmm. It's going to take time to be able to control it. It has like some similarities, like this thing about 
being able to use multiple quirks. Like they said, one for all came from the all for one. And this reminds reminds me so much of Demon Slayer, <laughs> those water effects. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh my god, look at Mineta. <laughs> what is he watching? <laughs> like Mina is forcing him to watch something. <laughs> Hmm, it was not like that. <laughs> yeah, that was really amazing. Hmm. Damn, he actually texted his father asking him for help. Damn, I like that. I like how their relationship is becoming better. That means a lot for NDA ever since he was waiting for a reply. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, she's meeting this guy. <laughs> It is not like bad, just like really full of himself and stuff. That's for sure. <laughs> mm. I don't think anyone could be like that guy. <laughs> oh. Also her outfit, she looks so... so adorable. Yes, a... Oh! He's copying it. Hmm, that explains it. That makes sense. Can copy the quirk, but not... Not like the power they need to... It's hard to explain. Like, it, I understand it. Like, if the power isn't there already, he can't use it. It's not like that. Just needs time to become used to it. 
Man, this was really special. Hmm. So nice. Exactly. It's a really great way of thinking. So awesome. And yeah, that thing about um, him copying the quirks, it was a bit um, hard to like put into words. But I feel like I get it. If it's a power where you need to accumulate power and like the one for all and there is power, he can't use that. He can only copy the the quirk itself, not the power that it's needed for it to be used and stuff. That explains a lot. Damn, that's nice. Hopefully they'll do it. Oh, there's um, Kami, right? I love her so much. We hope they all pass. Hmm. Pretty Nari. I wonder if uh, Mina was forcing him to watch like guys or something. This is. Damn. Who's that guy? The others, like... Flooding everything. He's Bakugo. No, it sounds similar, but don't know if it's him. Oh, wait, it's Todoroki. Damn. And Bakugo as well, so maybe they were together. And this is the test, right? I was wondering. This should be the test, I think. Maybe not. Damn. I guess this is a, a real situation. <laughs> Just like that.
Damn, I really love how he uses his power to... To position himself, like those explosions. And to dodge stuff. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Damn. That's really cool. It's going to use fire. Damn. That should do it. It's a moment from before. I feel like there's going to be... Some sort of a competition between the two of them. In the end, they, both of them are able to use, like, fire. Bakugo is more about the explosion, but... Damn. I love how... He's caring about these details. Sliding go. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder, this was like... This came out of nowhere. At some point I saw this was maybe the test already. Apparently it was just a, a random situation that happened to them. Man, I love this episode so much. It was... My favorite thing was definitely watching Eri again and seeing her smiling and stuff. That's something that just uh, warms our heart. It's so... So nice to see it. And I love how Midoriya was motivating her and making her feel like better about her power and not to feel down because she can't um, control it now. I'm sure that at some point she will be able to do it. And yeah, there was that, that whole explanation about Monoma's power. And like, how exactly it works, what can he copy exactly. And while it's really hard for me to explain, they explained it really well. So it, it's something that you kind of understand, it's hard to put into words. There's more. I was wondering. It was like a lot of time left. Oh, damn! They already got them. So, wait, did they did they get it before that whole situation? Or they're like re returning from it with those licenses already. <laughs> Man, this relationship between the two of them. It's really funny, but I love how they're like... Um, like, Bakugo is still like this, but he's a lot closer to, to Midoriya and that's really good. Um, but yeah, I was a bit confused by this, like, um, they were talking about uh, the rest of them uh, finally going through that test to get the, the provisional licenses. 
Um, but I thought that was going to happen at um, another time, like uh, that uh, maybe during the next episode they were going to show it. Um, but now it feels like um, it already happened. So um, I'm not too sure. Like there was that random situation with those guys, um, like who were villains, uh, showing up and flooding the whole place, and then uh, Bakugo and Todoroki having to stop them. Um, and it felt like um, that was um, maybe the test. So uh, at some point it didn't feel like it um, anymore. It felt like a, a real situation with uh, like citizens around and stuff. Um, but yeah, then again, I'm not um, too sure. Uh, I will need to rewatch um, those uh, f uh, those final moments again, like starting from uh, when they said that they were going to go through that test. Um, but yeah, it was um, again really awesome to watch this, and I was talking about uh, um, Monoma's um, quirk and how we can copy others. Um, and apparently he can't uh, like copy powers like this, so like the the one for all and uh, uh, also um, Ares' uh, uh, quirk and also um, that um, that other guy, like they, uh, they kept showing uh, some examples which made it easier to understand. Um, and uh, like um, my best way to explain it is that, uh, or like as far as I understood, um, it's like uh, he can copy the quirks but if it's a quirk that requires you to to like do do something else like uh, to generate some power or to um like change your body maybe I, like i'm not too sure it's uh, probably like this but i might be wrong about some details um but if it's like that it can't um, do it so it can like only copy uh, the original like form of that quirk or something it's uh, like really complicated um but yeah that's um, that at least explains um that we'll seeing about uh, him copying the one for all i was uh, wondering if he could actually um use it or like it, in the end, it would be really dangerous for him if he could do it, since, uh, uh, like All Might said, um, not everyone can do it, and this can be, um, like, really dangerous for people who are not prepared, like, uh, we, we all remember how Midoriya um, had to develop his body a lot to be able to withstand this power. Um, but yeah, really happy with uh, everything that happened, and it seems like uh, um, Todoroki and Bakugo got their provisional licenses, so that's uh, really good. Um, and yeah, really can't wait to see what's going to happen during these uh, next moments. So, with this, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.